welcome to At Home with Lucas. So in this video, we're going to be talking about home furnace air filters. So everyone's got them, whether you're in an apartment or in a house or in a barn, doesn't matter. You got the filters and I'm going to be talking about those in this video. Um, so basically, I used to use filtrate and filtrate was my go to uh, choice. Everyone raves about filtrate. Oh, they're the best company, blah, blah, blah. But I started having a problem with filtrate and um, Amazon. They just did not work well together. And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you why they didn't work well together. And I'm going to be showing you the new filter company that I'm going with. And we're going to be doing a full review on, on that filter and maybe it'll become my next main furnace filter for my house. I don't know, but let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to locate your power source whenever you're changing a filter for your furnace. So every furnace is going to have a different power source, but mine is located right here. So I simply just have to flip that switch. So while that's turning off, let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. Um, I've been using the other filters that I talked about for quite a while, and I really did not like the way that they were being shipped. Um, so let me just go ahead and pull out my handy dandy trusty knife, and we will get into this. Hopefully I didn't just cut the filter. get inside this box real quick put our knife away safe and sound okay so let's see what we got right. okay so far so good I'm not seeing any damage at all. Not even corner damage. That was the problem with my old ones that I was using. They literally would come partially crushed. I'll show a clip of that right now. It's from Amazon. It has a few items from my monthly subscription in it. You know, kind of like tags just hanging off. No one really cares. Box has definitely been dented and I open it up and here's my uh, my air filters which I'm supposed to put in one of these in a couple days so now there's a good chance my uh, furnace is going to be delayed I mean this is completely destroyed like two filters just mangled beyond belief okay so that's looking really solid that's just one though this is a pack of many and they're I'm gonna just say they're all gonna be just as solid this company really respects the filter okay so on mine it's very easily marked it says filter there is a black um, cover here uh, that you just have to use your finger and pull out on so that pops off and then my filter is right there this is the filter I was using Filtrate, I will not be using this company anymore, the 3M. This one's been crushed, you can see right there. And that's just simply because this company does not care about their products getting shipped to you correctly. Um, so we'll go ahead and take this smashed 3M product and throw it away and we're gonna go ahead and Put this filter in okay so this is very important that you you need to pay attention to this um, airflow direction there's an arrow that points up so if you don't know which way your air flows on your furnace the simplest way is to literally put your filter in and leave it out just a smidge and then what you're gonna do you're gonna come over and you're gonna turn it on. And when it turns on, 
the fan will start to flow a certain direction, causing the filter to either go up, and you'll see it go up and get stuck, and there'll be a gap, or it'll stay down really tight. Um, and then when you turn it back off, you're gonna see it drop. So if it is flowing up, it's gonna drop down. And if it's flowing down, it's gonna stay the same, but it may pop up because it's not, see how mine moves around like that? So that's a quick way to tell which way your um, airflow is. So you never wanna have that the wrong way. If you have it the wrong way, you're in big trouble. Okay, there we go. It's fully snapped back in. I can go ahead and come over here, turn that on, and we can begin the process of running the filter. Okay, so we're one month in on our new filter, and as you can see, it has pulled a lot of dust and debris out of our 12,000 square foot home. We have three dogs, two small dogs, one medium-sized dog, and then we have a one-year-old, and then two adults living in this house. Um, and I cook pretty much, I would say five to seven nights a week. So there's always some kind of cooking, debris, dust, smoke, whatever, um, coming into the house. But um, as far as, as air quality, I felt like this filter did a good job. I felt like the air quality was pretty solid. Um, and as far as vent flow, the vent flow was really good. I, I was very pleased. Okay, so one thing that you should always check when you put a new filter in is how much air is flowing out of the vent. You should know the um, air, air flow um, by just checking it every time you put in a new filter. Kind of judge whether it's, it's blowing out. Um, if you notice that it's not blowing out as hard or as fast or as far, um, then you probably have a filter that's not the right one for your furnace. So what will happen is it will cause it to run very slow and that will cause parts to break. So that is a big no-no. I didn't feel like it was getting clogged or slowed down by any means um, like the filtrate was. But here's just a quick comparison. So you can see right there, that is a solid, clean, white filter. And then you look at that one there. That's pretty shocking. That's one month in my small house. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm fully done with Filtrate. I think Filtrate it was a great company, but now I'm, I'm moved on. I'm on to this new company now. So here's to the next month. All right, there you go. That's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely like and subscribe down below. Every time I get a subscriber, I'm just so happy. So, um, you, you know, as you subscribe and, and like my videos and watch my videos, you're bettering me and helping me to get to where I want to get to. Um, but yeah, there's definitely gonna be more videos on this subject coming up. So if you if you want to know more about home furnaces and filters and all that stuff, comment down below, let me know. I may make a video about something that could help you out or show something. Um, but as always, I thank you so much for watching my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.